South Yorkshire Ghost Hunters, the free trains. Mm -hmm. love them uh, this evening. So we're going to be trying a couple of experiments tonight. Why does that keep on going off? Is it on? Is it both being switched on? Is it Rempod and the Aters? Yeah, no, it's did one on. Because we just used it as a, as a Rempod. There you go. So what we're doing tonight, everybody, we're doing an experiment. And we've got all ghost hunting equipment around us. We've got some uh, K2 meters, we've got REM pods, got cuddly teddy bear there. Some more REM pods, flashy balls, and everything is around us. Uh, and we're sat in the centre. I'll be in the centre it so back. we've got Diane, we've got Bev and we've got John and we have in what we call it with the ambient uh, ambience detector it keeps them going off. Now could that could be going off with the heat, I'm not too sure. Yeah the possibility it could be because of the uh, of the heat that's going off the humidity because it is very hot. I don't know what the humidity is but uh, we're hot. Right so what we're going to do then, I'm going to ask out. Who's going to ask out? Well, if everybody's got a set of doubting marks, yeah. the fun's going out. Then it's yeah. going to get very, very comfortable. Yeah. Because whoever's asking a question, so it might happen on someone else's doubting marks. Yeah, well, I want to ask out. So it's going to be very confusing. It's going to be what? Confusing. Not necessarily. So, whoever, whoever the spirit wants to uh, pension them, uh, a thousand yeah. brother want to move. Yeah, but you're going to have asking questions. No, you're not. We'll so go to the person that's... Going yeah. Way. We're going to go to the person that's getting the most activity on the thousand rod. Yeah. So, do we have anybody here wishing to communicate with us? Would you like to come and show us a sign that you're here? Can you come into this room? Can you uh, come and uh, make contact with us this evening here at the uh, Free Trains Pub in Rotherham? We've got lots of devices around on the floor. None of these devices will hurt you in any way. They ho they're only here to, dete to detect you. Uh, detect you. Uh, and uh, let us know that you're here. You've seen us many times here. We're here as friends. We're here to communicate. We're here to prove your existence. So, uh, any of the people you see sat around in the circle, which is Bev, Diane and John, are all in dowsing rods. If you would like to come and communicate with us, come into the centre of the room and come and move these dowsing rods and let us know that you're here. Like I said, we're here as friends. We're here to prove that life goes on after death. There's many spirits that we speak to from here, from the free trains. Can we show us a sign that you're here? If there is anybody around in the circle that you would like to communicate with, can you move the uh, uh, dowsing rods for this person? Oh, and you all want to stick off so that you have to be quiet.
are you a male spirit? Come and touch the, some of somebody's uh, dowsing rods, what they're holding in their hands. Come and move in for, to give us a sign for yes, no, and, and so on. Can you come forward? Can you tell me, are you a male spirit? Over there. Yeah, well, uh, what's it your what's <laughs> if, you, if, yeah. if you're a female spirit, can you move these dowsing rods? So we can go to the person, go to any person you want to sit around us right now and communicate with us. The person that you use uh, to, uh, to communicate with us. Maybe do you want to use John to communicate to us through John on these dowsing rods? Or would you like to use Diane? Would you like to uh, control Diane's dowsing rods to, to create con uh, contact with us? Or would you like to use Bev? Can we show us a sign that you're here? Can we show the sign that you uh, would like to speak to us? Hi everybody, I'm not getting all the messages that are coming up on the screen. Let me just type hello, it might help with, with, with it. Uh, and let me just put hello there. So hopefully it's going to catch up with everybody. So I'm sorry if you put a message on there. Uh, so. Daniel, your dowsing rods moving? Do you yeah, think? I've been moving all the time. Have they? Yeah, are, you keep, are you keeping still? Mm. Very still. Mm. If there is somebody uh, attached to Diane, uh, you wanted to use Diane's dowsing rods, can you uh, show us a sign that you're here? Can you make the dowsing rods go into an X across? You're moving, Diane. Your head's moving. What? Your head's moving. Yeah, I've just got some out of my eye. Can you make the dowsing rods go forward just to confirm that I'm speaking to you? If there's any spirits here that uh, would like to communicate. Okay, you might as well have a dress, John and Bev. We've got somebody trying to contact uh, for us through Diane. Can you show us a sign for yes? Can you show us a sign for yes? <coughs> okay, so that <coughs> that maybe is your sign for yes. <coughs> Can you show us a sign for no? Do you have a sign for no? Okay. <coughs> Tell me, are you a male spirit? Was it one minute? Okay, what's that mean then? What What did you ask earlier on and ask for an X? For For yes, straightforward. Well, it won't It won't move. Well, shall we try again? Right. Can, can you show us uh, what the sign is for yes by moving the dowsing rods? Come forward, please. Come and show us a sign for yes. <coughs> so. I think they're going forward for a sign for yes, aren't they? Okay, so forward is yes. Show us a sign for no. Show us a sign for no, please. So across is, is no, yeah? Okay. Okay. 
So, are you a male spirit? Are you a female spirit? Okay. So you 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 are a female spirit. Is that correct? Okay. Are you from the free cranes? Are you from this building? Can't keep on saying free cranes because it was over. Because it's a private group, uh, Tracer. Okay, so you're not uh, originally from the from the from this building. Okay, thank you very much. Are you are you just visiting? It's been forward, don't it? So you're just visiting here today. Did you hear me calling out? Is that the reason why you came forward? Okay, thank you. Are you connected to anybody here in this room? Are you connected to me or are you connected to Diane or Bev or John? Do you have a connection to uh, any of us that are here? No, okay. Do you have a connection to Rotherham? Are you, do you have a connection to Rotherham itself? Do you come from, from Rotherham? Oh, yes, okay, thank you. Did you live here on High Street when you was alive? Did you live here? Okay, that's going to know. So it has a connection to Rodman, but it didn't live here. Did you work here on this street? On High Street? Did you work here? Maybe you had a shop on here? Okay, that's going to yes. Okay, thank you. So you had a, you, may, you maybe had a shop on here. Did you live in the shop as well? Is that going to know? Okay. Is that going to know, Diane? It is, isn't it? So he didn't have a, he didn't live on here. But he had a, sh the spirits had a shop here on High Street. W w was, did you, was the shop in this building? I am a wet through. I, what did I just ask? Did you or did you have a shop in this building here? <coughs> I believe that this shop uh, has been many opened up as many things over the years, from a butcher's to a post office to a bookstore. That was in the uh, bottom part of the uh, uh, of the building. It was closed in 1907 as a, as a, as an inn. So from the 1800s, it was uh, was uh, the Free Cranes pub. So before the Free Cranes pub, it was a townhouse and shops. It was originally built as a townhouse in 1470. Did you was you here during that time period of uh, 1470, which would have been the Tudor era? I've got sneeze. <laughs> Excuse me. Was you around during the Tudor times? Is that no? Yeah, that's two questions. Did I? Why well, question question? Yes, if they had a shop here, yeah, so it says no. Then you went on to I thought they said yes, they had a shop here. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, I'm sure. Specific building. Yeah, said the specific building. Oh, right. so they're on oh, the yeah, street. the shop on the high street, you said, if I remember. Yeah, yeah you're yeah. right. Yeah. Well, then when you asked about being in here, you're sort of talking about this building. No, no. yeah. Okay. So I'm going to ask a few questions about what your shop might have been when you was uh, when you was alive that uh, you ran. Maybe was it a closed shop? Did you sell clothes? Did you sell confectionery like cakes was was your shop a butcher shop okay that's is it moving to confectionery yeah so did you have a confectionery shop here did you sell things like cakes and uh, things that were sweet to eat like buns maybe trifles and and stuff like that is that what you used to sell All the sweet stuff that children would buy. Yeah. Okay. And that was here on High Street. Okay. Was was during your time period was was the shop very busy? Was the town busy? The the, the town what was what that what was there at that particular time? Was it busy? People coming in from all uh, different locations, different villages, and uh, of of Rotherham. Didn't get a time period, did we? Of when uh, they might have been here. Was you? Uh, I'll ask you a question. Was you in the Victorian era? Was you here during the time of Queen Victoria? That looks probably more like a yes, doesn't it? So you was you was around during that time period, during the time of Queen Victoria. So you was around in the Victorian era of uh, of England. Did the uh, Queen Vic? Do you know that Queen Victoria came and visited Rotherham? Did you know that she came here once? I think it was just once she came here, or was it twice? I'm not too sure. Did you know that that Queen Victoria came here and visited the town of Rotherham? Many heads of states of the years have been here. Even after Queen Victoria, Prince Charles has been here, uh, which is uh, the Queen's, I think, great great grandson. Is it grandson or great great grandson? So we've had many people over the years that's royalty that's came come here. So tell me, uh, can you point the dowsing rods to where your shop was located? If you can see us and uh, see where we are, can you point the dowsing rods into into the uh, vicinity of uh, where your shop was? Do you know where your shop was? Okay. Now can you move the dowsing rods for us? Just, just to let us know that you're here. Has anybody got a fan on them? A hand one, Chinese a fan. No, these dowsing rods from the river. Do they feel really heavy? I know what I'm going to use. So I to use this piece of paper. <coughs> Does it do anything for you? Hey? Does it? Let me borrow it then a second. Jump to grab it. I 
I can't feel how. I'll tell a little bit now. So, does anybody else want to ask out? Do you, do you want to move an eye out, Dowson Rodstein? Hey? Yes. You walk camera? Yes. And you ask out? So. <coughs> oh, I forgot to fetch. I've got to watch it. Oh, I'll check it. I've got to watch it for me as well. That's uh, one of the things. I know, I've smoked it out that way. So, shall we, shall we start again, everybody? Let me just try and get my. Got a right headache now, I mean. So. Got a right headache. It's a lovely bath in my dress. I do try. I love that dress. I want it. Is there somebody with a bath? Are you trying to communicate with her? Can you point the dowsing rods forward? And put them into a neutral position. If there's anybody here that wishes to communicate with anyone, John, Martin or Beth, can you pop your dowsing rods forward in a neutral position, which is just a, a starting point, all face forward, and then we can start then if you want to communicate. And then if you like to move the dowsing rod slowly and give us a sign for yes by moving one or both of the dowsing rods. Give us a sign for yes by moving the dowsing rods. Any, any which direction you want to. One, two, either one. So bring your dowsing rods forward, please, if anybody wishes to communicate with us. <clears throat> dowsing rods forward in a starting position. And when you've done that, use either one or both of the dowsing rods to give us a sign for yes. Shall's moved from its first yet? Oh, yours has moved. Um, yeah, it is difficult. So, if there's someone here with Beth, can you move these dowsing rods so they're flush forward, straight out forward? 
as a starting position. If you're with Beth, pull these thousand rods forward in a neutral starting position. We yours forward, initially Martin. We shall fit both facing forward right, before it's moved. Forward into... Yeah, no, but with the forwards first. Uh, no, not really. There's one facing towards me, and then one's gone on that way, but I didn't close my eyes. Best have gone forward, like I asked. Thank you for that, if you're with, uh, with Beth. Right, can you give us a sign now for yes, please, by moving either one or two of the dowsing rods? make a pattern or you could cross them over or make an L shape or you can just spin them around any which way you feel oh, that looks like that your right hand side coming inwards okay if that's your sign for yes can you straighten that rod back up then and face it forward again please into the start position on Beth's right hand side can you put the dowsing rod back to the start position please They feel heavy, Beth. Yeah. They do, don't they? If you look, if you look at your uh, dowsing rods, you might be able to see like a purple grey haze. If you can see that, that's like a psychic energy. No. purpley grey kind of it's like smoke coming off it don't matter if you can't see it not everybody can right that's doing it thank you thank you for doing that yeah, yeah, got that so straight as uh, it's going maybe okay hmm. right can you give us a sign for no, please? Can do the same again, make a pattern with the rods. Give us a sign for no. Let me know when you've had enough bath because it is tiring and just get heavy. So make a sign with the rods again for no, please. I just make a sign with the rods for now, please. Using both rods are one. Okay, it's like an X sort of like on top of each other. That's the no. Right then, if you could pop them back to the forwards, please, the start position. Pop the rods back to the start position, straight forward, please. 
then we could perhaps communicate and ask you some questions. Are you a lady? A female? Is that both rods going out as well? That's that were a yes for him to it. Or is it crossing? Wait, just this one for yes. Yeah. Yeah. That's what it did for yes. Okay, thank you. And if you'd like to put the uh, rods back forward, please. In the start position again. Thank you. Rods forward, please. Back to the start. Oh, that's gone back up, hasn't it now? Okay, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so we've got a lady. We've established that. Do, are you connected to this building at all? Mm, that's what I'm thinking. Okay, I've wondered if it was the same lady. I'm back tip forward, thank you. If you always put the rods back forwards, then we can get the yes and no's properly. Right then, are you the lady we were just speaking to? I thought it yeah. were. I, I did think it was. And if you put the rods back forward, the rods got a little bit heavy. So you're the lady that had a bakery, a uh, confectioner's shop that lived here in the Victorian times. Thank you. Someone's making a pipping noise. Martin, do your phone make funny noises? Yeah, it's oh. Oh, okay. Did you make a good um, profit? Did you get lots of money while you were uh, doing your shop? Was it profitable for you? Yeah. Well, that's good. And I always pop the rod back to the for forward, please, to start position. It just makes our yes and no's clearer. Were, were you married? Thank you. And forwards again, please. Pop the rod forward, please. Or as near to forwards as you can get. I know the, you're using a lot of energy to do this, and we do appreciate it. Did you have a family? Did you have some children? and then just make a connection back up with, with that. Did you have a family? Children? That's coming to know, isn't it? Yeah. 
Thank you. Thank you for answering that. Good. Go to start position, please. Thank you. Thank you. I'm running out of questions. That's not sniffing me, yeah. You know what, I don't think something that I'd like to have seen before in a, in a movie or something where they got the impression of windows like that. Yeah. With a very clean stand. It's in front of the window with all different assortments of cakes and mm. uh, on, on a tray. That might not be true, but that's what was coming in the air. Is that what your window looked like? Martin's getting a visual. Is that what your window looked like? <clears throat> like these square, um, what we've got here, these squares. Yes, but not really strong, yes. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, it's coming into yes, I can see that from here. Lovely, thank you for that. So you got a yes, Martin. Was mm -hmm. the was the stand like crystal type or glass crystal or whatever? I think it should have to on so it's wobbling again. So was it was it a crystal stand that the cakes were on and the bread or whatever? Or crystal effect, crystal looking. It's uh, doing a wobble backwards and forwards. She might not understand. Yeah. Um, did you have a fancy display in the window? Was it quite fancy and ornate? And people would come and look at it and stand in the window perhaps and look. It's weird that it's just doing a wobble. You find you have drugs to the direction where your shot was. Might not have enough energy to continue. Just um, Martin, your phone's getting.